I was in UK for two months and I did, didn't know that there was a water problem and I came home uh, three, four days ago and my sister told me that she told me don't use the shower, use the <laughs> bucket of water. Tamil Nadu and its capital city are struggling to meet the water demand of its citizens. Bengaluru, once called the city of lakes, is expected to become the next city to run dry. The Indian farmer, they say, is born in debt, lives in debt and dies in debt. The rivers in India are in a serious condition. Almost seven months in a year, Kaveri doesn't reach the ocean, it dries up. Today, it is forty-six percent less than what it was forty years ago. Your children or maybe their children will not know what is Kaveri. The biggest concern is not even water, the biggest concern is soil. India has hundred and sixty million hectares of arable land. Of this, 104 million hectares of arable land is under distress, soil distress. This means this country is going to have serious problems about growing food in the next fifteen to twenty-five years. There is not enough organic content, means you can't hold water. Ninety-six percent of our rivers flow only with rainwater. If you have vegetation, our ability to hold the rainwater is enhanced. For the last thirty years, we have been using the remote sensing satellites to look at Earth. Why on our land, we are not able to keep that water? There is a close connection between the trees and the ability to keep our water for our use. The land is very fast becoming sad, so with more and more tree covers, more humus will go into the soil and increase the organic content in the soil. Increasing the forest cover is out of question with the kind of population pressure we have. So the only way is to transit them into agroforestry. We have converted literally over 69,670 farmers in Tamil Nadu. Their incomes have gone up five to ten times in a matter of eight to ten years. Making the farmers to switch over to horticultural crops or tree crops, which will allow ground, uh, rainwater to go down into the subsoil system, will actually make uh, fresh water available to the people. It could revitalize the entire farm level economy uh, and reduce significantly the kind of economic distress that today's the majority of uh, agricultural households are facing. Right now in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, we are launching what's called as Kaveri Calling. We want to convert one-third of the Kaveri Basin into agroforestry. We are looking at planting 242 crore trees. This is not that we are going to plant everything, the farmers will do it in their land. All that government needs to need is given incentive. So to see that this is facilitated in the initial stages at least, we are uh, in the process of creating large tracts of land to raise saplings. So we are asking the public, crowdsourcing the fund, forty-two rupees is one sapling. So this needs to be facilitated. If you do this, the forty-six percent depletion that's happened in the river waters will come back. River will flow once again, farmers will be rich and well-to-do. We have a board of people responsible board. This entire Kaveri Calling Fund is going to be managed by an internationally reputed auditing firm under the aegis of this board. And we are also bringing in few more people from Karnataka and Tamil Nadu to be a part of this uh, management. This project is called Kaveri Calling because she's been calling. Can you hear is the question? Kaveri is calling. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>